Um, so quite often that we, we, we kind of forget that South Africa, Constantia, Cape Town, next to Table Mountain was the very first um, new world wine producing region. And that, that was all founded in 1685. So we go back to when Jan van Riebeek colonized the Cape and everything happened. He planted vineyards, um, but he never really made it famous in those days. So that was quite experimental. In 1685, it was actually the governor of the Cape, Simon van der Stel, who started the vineyards of Constantia. And I'm kind of emphasizing the, the dates of 1685 as, as in 1685 is way before anything that we know in the old world. And I recently done a seminar on Sancerre and you look at, you know, we think that Sancerre and France and all the rest have been around for, 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 for many years. They have definitely been making wine for a long time. But you look at Sancerre, they only started producing Sauvignon Blanc in 1836, uh, 1936. Um, so, you know, if we, if we look at 1685, there's very little happening in the rest of the world. It's way before Napa Valley. Um, the, it's said that the vines that actually made it to Margaret River in Perth, or just below Perth, were cuttings that came from Constantia in those days. So the Constantia Valley itself was the pioneer of, the, of vines being planted in the, in the Southern Hemisphere. There, don't get me wrong, there was wine made in the Southern Hemisphere in those days. But the wine that was made in those days were for for church. They were for it was made for communion as opposed to being for for drinking and enjoying as the way that we do today. So I can talk for hours about it. So, but if I can put it into perspective, so Constantia Valley founded in 1685. Simon van der Stel, he was granted any land that he pleased in those days, um, being the governor. So he sent out his his um, workers and they went and they surveyed the soil and the land throughout the whole of the Cape. They went as far as sending soil samples back to Europe and having those soil samples analyzed. It was absolutely crazy and you think about it in those days, what were they actually analyzing for and what did they actually understand? Um, the Dutch being the Dutch, they actually understood farming very well. Um, I don't know what they were testing, but if you come to Clanker Sancho today, you kind of realize why he planted his flag here in Constantia and it's purely because of the beauty of what we have 